Hello everyone, we're the Continuity Crew. <laughs> I'm Will. I'm Will. Uh, that's Wait. when... Is this a streaming junkie? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're calling things now. It's been so long. Why are okay. you vaping in the middle of the take? <laughs> I don't know. I thought we were... Take five? <laughs> I thought we were... Uh, reset, reset. I'm a fiend. <laughs> Hello everyone, we're the Continuity Crew. I'm Will. Hello everyone. That's when, and today, we've got another episode of the Streaming Junkies mm -hmm. for you, and we're playing a little catch-up with movies, so we're doing the Adam McKay directed film, Don't Look Up, the satirical, yet political, and I guess it's political satire, that was counterproductive, um, with a great cast, and we talk about uh, climate change and an asteroid hitting the Earth, and um, Meryl Streep's boobs. I was going to say shitty president but yeah that works too yeah that, well it was um that was a body double <laughs> just so you know where where do you want to go with that? <laughs> i don't fucking know this don't is look a, up. this is a movie man um i, I go for it go i want to say that none of us I'd, either one of us did not expect it to be the way it, it was absolutely because like from the netflix teaser it was like very a year serious. ago yeah yeah it looked very serious they're like are you ready for this and like wow this is gonna be epic or some shit like mm -hmm. that so uh, we thought it'd be something serious but, you know, I guess we should have seen it coming. And in a way, it, it makes sense uh, because it's Adam McKay. And, I mean, he's done stuff. He's did Anchorman, yeah. but he also did Vice. and yeah. But he also did Anchorman 2, but he also did The Big Short. Yeah. So it's very – he's got a specific type of, like, filmmaking. But I, I just didn't expect what we got. Um, I was no. really hoping for more towards the Vice or Big Short side, but yeah. this is kind of more towards the Anchorman and side. Comedi yeah, it's very comedic. Mm -hmm. uh, I hated the editing in this movie. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's it's a uh, it, it almost doesn't take itself seriously, but seriously at the same time, where it's mm -hmm. like it wants to take itself seriously, but the way it's written and the way it's directed just doesn't fit the role of something serious. I don't know. I don't know how to no. explain this, but. The thing is, I thought this movie was going to be very hard hitting and uh, I didn't think it was going to be political. The, uh, yeah, the, I, I you know. thought it was going to have some interesting little like quips and stuff in it, like kind of how the big short, there's like the ad in the yeah. middle of it with yeah. Margot Robbie or like the big short where the movie or not the big short vice where it just like ends yeah. at one point. But uh, I thought we'd get stuff like that, but not what we got in the end um it is very much just a comedic like political satire movie um it's and i th i think it's funny for both sides if you're gonna look at like parties and stuff or i think it can be funny for whoever so i think they did a good job with that i like that it wasn't on the nose enough to where it's like oh uh, yeah this is a yeah. reference to this person yeah. i like that they didn't do that i like that they kind of just went with well, this is very uh, the the whole political uh, kind environment of like a, right now is very um, reckless. Yes, with what they're doing. So I, I like that they kind of attached it to a more broader, broad thing, and yeah. not even like you said, a specific person or specific like side. I mean, some there are some very specific sides, like the the don't look uppers and stuff like yeah. that. Um, and it's it's funny though. I mean, if you can't laugh at yourself, like what are you doing? Nah. Um, not saying I, I, I go with it. <laughs> we're not political here. Uh, this kind of reminds me. They were talking about, I think, media, social media. Mm -hmm. this. And this, I get the most bizarre shit on TikTok all the time. It's like. I would oof. love to see TikTokers talk about this movie. I could just yeah, imagine. Too, yeah. I, I was thinking about this where it's like, for one, sometimes I'll get the flat earthers mm -hmm. and then the, the space deniers or whatever. And then you get like the NASA conspiracy theory theories theorist where it's like oh there are aliens and then you get the one side who isn't believing in like aliens and shit like that. It's so confusing nowadays. And this movie just basically wrapped that into like a big ball mm -hmm. of mesh. Yeah. And made sure that we all get it enough to where and even it, stupid people can Yeah, and in out. a way it's like that was good but it was also bad. Um yeah. there's this movie just left me feeling like weird at the end. Like yeah. it's supposed to be emotional in a way. And I was, but I'm also like, but everything else that happened before this, I, I'm just confused still. 
Um, and I, I don't think, I think that's a bad thing. Um, just for a movie to do, I think it should leave me like lead me up to feeling a certain way. And this one just is like up, down, left, right, here, there. At least they didn't go with the, um, at least they didn't, they weren't basic where there, it would have been an action film or some shit. Yeah. I, like what is that movie with, uh, Gerard, Gerard Butler? No. Oh, Greenland. Greenland. Yes. Yeah. Like that. Um, at least it wasn't like that. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I, I like what Adam McKay did. I like all the performances even like they're, they're funny. They're some are like, pretty decent i i no one really sticks out i mean leo donardo is always great and so is leo jennifer Lawrence. leonardo leo donardo is that what i said <laughs> leo i well i went for leo and tried to <laughs> just leo whatever uh leonardo and jennifer lawrence are always great same with meryl streep she's like hollywood royalty jonah hill's always funny um don't look up though it's just weird. I, this I, is perfect for Leonardo DiCaprio. It is because he is an environmentalist. In case you guys didn't yeah, know, that's true. And he really likes his. Uh, he really likes talking about the environment and all that stuff. So I think, although this isn't perfectly aligned with mm-hmm. what he uh, what he believes in, it is something that I think he probably has somewhat of a passion for. Yeah, he doesn't really want to talk about it about politics but this is his way of talking yeah about that's politics. fair and and there's even some comments on there about like um like sexist stuff because like he gets all the fame and yeah, like jennifer true. lawrence doesn't get shit uh, um i mean again like the presidential stuff with meryl streep like that's obvious like what they're doing um i'm trying to think of some other commentary they had in there it was very the, you know one thing that i uh, that threw me off about this movie was the fact that kate blanchett and leonardo dicaprio just I guess they had an affair. That wasn't Kate Blanchett. Not Kate Blanchett. What's her fault? No, is it? Was yeah, that Kate Blanchett? Blanchett? Yeah, the news reporter. Was that really her? Yeah. I, she's such like a chame- chameleon because like, I, I think of her in one movie. I'm like, okay, that's what she looks like. Uh, and then she looks completely different in another yeah. movie. I'm like, oh, God, I, who are you? It was just really weird that that happened. I, I still don't get it to this day. I'm, I'm so confused about the fact that like she just like, for some reason, just likes him again. Just or I'm sure there's a him. comment there about some politician or news reporter or something. I don't know. Um, like how, there's commentary on like big corporations, which I thought was funny. With like, and he they even brought the guy from like Ready Player One. I mean, I'm sure that wasn't on purpose, but it was still funny. Yeah. He got kind of typecasted there. He's supposed to be like the metaverse Apple mix Google. Yeah. Um, and then just like greed. And like with all that, and then um, the obvious is like the U.S. politics. And in the end, like I also think like I watched this, and I'm like, man, I that could maybe happen. <laughs> Basically, this movie was just kind of a recap of like 2020 and 2021. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, a kind of proper because like basically Leonardo DiCaprio's character is supposed to be like Dr. Fauci. Um, and in get terms, that, but that makes sense. Yeah, he's supposed to be like that, but like nobody, not a lot of people believe him, and he's like he's always bashed. I mean, it's supposed to be, I guess, both of them, Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence, Lawrence are yeah. Doctor Fauci, but they're just split into Fauci. because of the weird decisions that they made. But yeah, I I both love and hate this movie. Yes. Um, and I, you know. I kind of feel, and maybe I think that's what he kind of goes for with his movies, because I felt that way about Anchorman before, and I mean even Vice, I was like, okay, I kind of get it. The only one that I like distinctly love, like that he's done, is um The Big Short. Like I, that movie's just so good, like it's incredible. Um, and I love the ending. Uh, well, except for the space thing and Jonah Hill living but i did like really like the ending like it, it made me emotional it made me like actually care about these characters more um i just love how they handle the situation the only thing the uh, biggest gripe is like the stupid like news feed type stuff they did like or just like pictures of nature and stuff like i kind of just always hate when movies do stuff like that unless it fits in right and i just didn't feel like it fit in here I, but also it does make sense because that feels like an adam mckay thing but it's really strange for me that they jumped immediately to like sci-fi at the very end mm-hmm. uh, like the beginning or act three they just went to like oh yeah we could like mine this yeah it, it's got a weird like tone and pace yeah. issue but it, it it makes sense i don't know and then somehow they just have a ship that goes mm-hmm. up so i i thought you know that wasn't set up before why do we have this now uh, the 
the what do you call that the corporation thing mm-hmm. i think that's really funny because that is something that would oh that yeah would, absolutely would do. it's like i mean i think it, they would hide the asteroid from us but then they'd be like oh we're gonna mine it it's gonna be good like don't worry and then it might work in a perfect world but it might also not like it did in this movie so like realistically if metaverse and uh spacex had baby it would be this corporation yeah because i feel like they, they would mine it because they hear like oh it's there's like 100 trillion dollars worth of platinum in it or some shit like that like it would be and it's like oh yeah do. it's like we can make more phones with it yeah uh, it's, it's <laughs> it, it is funny I more say. sustainable energy yeah and the so, risk of human civilization or just cure world hunger and ah oh, man, the thing that I hate the most is also this is probably gonna be something really true is the fact that the more important people got on the space uh, on the spaceship thing, mm-hmm. and they're the ones that get to live. Oh and yeah, they don't have like any children or anything. like Yeah, that. that's how it would be. It's like yeah. all the old folks, all the old politicians who, who give money and shit like yeah. that. Yeah, like you get like a first class ride into it, so. or just do your next generation like voyagers. This is uh, the ending. Kind of reminded me of Voyagers. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it kind of did. Yeah. Well, it <laughs> also I was already thinking about the movie because they did like the cuts of nature and stuff, and like that that made me laugh. It's so funny. Um, but let's get let's wrap this up and get to our ratings. We're gonna do two ratings here. We do our critical and our entertainment. We do one being the worst, ten being the best. One. What do you say for critical? Critically, I liked it enough. So I'm gonna give it a six. Six. I, I enjoy the commentary more. Yeah. I didn't like the editing. The editing was really suffering for me. I think that's where the editing like affected the tone and pace problem that I had with it. So I would agree. I'm gonna give it a six and a half critically. Um entertainment wise, what do you say? Entertainment, I'm gonna say six. Six as well? Straight six. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a seven and a half because it took me like three settings to sittings to like watch this movie. It just could never like wrap me in at any part. So I, hook you. like, I honestly, if I was able to sit through it one watch, I might say a 10. Cause I think this shit's just so funny. Yeah. Uh, like it, it is my type of humor and entertainment, but yeah. Went, I love that this movie just went to like a completely different turn. Like at the very beginning, it's like, Oh, this is a very high risk kind yeah. of thing. And then they just swerved it to the left. when we it, There's a lot of swerves going yeah, on. So it, 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 but it, um, it makes for a good entertainment. So, um, but anyways, that's been our review on our God. F- that's been our episode on sh- for streaming junkies on don't look f-ing cry. <laughs> that I don't know what I'm trying to say. Don't look up review streaming junkies. Thank y'all for watching. Like if you enjoyed. Comment down below. Whatever you want. Subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this. Thank y'all for watching. We've been the continuity crew. I'm Will. That's when. Thank you for all for watching. We love movies. <laughs> we really love y'all. Are you okay? Bye. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs>